Fight fans, this following strawweight competition is being brought to you by Men Specials Bearded Bites, Martial Law Clothing, Instant Entrance, and Havelock Country Jamboree. The third man in the cage is Graham Betts. Introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks trimmed in pink. Standing five feet three inches tall, she weighed in at 115.4 pounds. She comes to the cage representing Coach Kwan University with a record of two wins and one loss, with one of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of South Africa, by way of Tampa, Florida, USA, She comes to the BTC cage representing Parabellum MMA and Brookman Martial Arts with a record of six wins and four losses. Fighting out of N representing Niagara Falls, Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Referee Graham Betts, the third and final man inside the cage as the BTC Strawweight Championship is up for grabs. Lindsey Garbrett and Cheyenne, the Princess Warrior, Velismus. Velismus coming out, southpaw, back to orthodox now. First strike she throws a high kick. Well, Josh, she did say when she left the fighter interview, prepare for a show, so she wants to put on a big show who Cheyenne's been just craving a fight, was supposed to have two title fights early on throughout 2019, just didn't happen, so very much takes took the opportunity here at BTC and ran with it. Yeah, she says she's been training for a five round fight since January, so I'm assuming her gas tank's gotta be pretty good. I would definitely expect that most of her fights, I have seen her go about the distance. Now those are three round fights, and I believe this is as well, actually. So we'll see what happens here. Cheyenne switching stances. Moving well, side to side. Trying to mix up those strikes is Velismus. Lindsay's got that high guard. Trying to draw out some reactions. Oh, there it is, nice. Faint the jab, pull back. Nice leg kick by Cheyenne. Well, Lindsay just trying to stalk down Velismus. Getting a read on her, seeing how she moves, how she reacts, distance and timing. Nice right hand, but nice counter by Cheyenne. A nice counter indeed. And there's a good kick, and now back down is Garbrett. Cheyenne caught the kick partially, drove forward, got the takedown on her back now. And the thing as well Cheyenne told us is because she was training for Rayanne, she just got to see both BTC fights that Rayanne had with Lindsay. So in a way, she got to see what Lindsay can do. So that really worked out well for her that her replacement is Lindsay Garbrandt. Yeah, good preparation. You got to see both the fighters that you were looking to fight. Looks like Cheyenne right now looking to potentially grab an arm, maybe now go for a, a, an ankle lock, a foot lock. Nope. You're going to take the back here. Lindsay's protecting the neck. Big Gonna hammer fist, through. nice roll sprawl by Garbat. Now she's in half guard now, in the middle of the cage. Just taking her time, both women doing the smart thing right now. While well, Cheyenne just trying to posture up and get that leg free that Lindsay's got trapped. Yep, Cheyenne might have to look to posture up, try and shake that leg free, maybe knee cut pass. Lindsay's got her overhook. She's going to look to get off her both hips, though. She's on both hips and both shoulders in the mat. She's got to get to one hip. When you're flat on the, uh, on the mat like that, you're immobile. And yeah, really, really nothing happening right now 
tough for Cheyenne to try to make any pass because that leg's hooked. Lindsay might be looking just to hold her down, look for a stand up, get back to the feet where uh, she wants this fight. Yeah, that's exactly where Lindsay wants it. And right now, so far, so good. But official seems to just want to keep seeing these ladies work. And I do like that, that the official giving them their time, letting them work. Sometimes see those stand-ups way too quickly, Josh. Absolutely, yeah. You know, and the, it favors the striker always. I like seeing you know, the ref give some time to work on the ground because it takes time, inches by inches, trying to get that position. See She's almost got that leg yeah. out now. She's also using her other f leg to try to free up her the leg trapped by Garbat. Yeah, she's looking to use her instep there to free up that leg. Oh, Lindsay gets it back. Lindsay needs to use that underhook there, get up on a hip. And look to explode up. We're down to a minute left in this round. She's not taking any damage, but you know, she's been on her back here for a few minutes now. And oh, got the leg free, trying to turn over Garbat is Velismus. She's passed. She's in a side control here now. Well, Lindsay showing how good of jiu-jitsu she does have. She's, she's doing very well defensively, you know, nullifying any movement or passing a Cheyenne, not taking any damage, but she's still on her back. Cheyenne's on top. And at the judge's eyes, this, uh, this round's going to Cheyenne. Yeah, that's the one thing with MMA that I, I feel like sometimes the, the judges just don't award the defensiveness of the fighter because Lindsay's doing a great job right now. No real significant strikes we've seen from Cheyenne. She's trying to posture, but they just award the offensive obviously more so than the defensive. And 10 seconds remain here. Oh, and there's a nice flurry from Velismus. Nearly almost got in a north-south position, did Velismus. And that horn goes to end the first round. Good competitive round from both women, Josh. Yeah, good round. I mean, obviously, Lindsay, your game plan next round, keep it off the mat. Stay on your feet. Use your angles. Use your head movement. Use your footwork. Cheyenne, if I'm her coach, I'm saying get that takedown again. You know, you, you dominated on the ground. You were able to hold position. You know, you didn't get much damage done, but positionally-wise, you were very sound, and you controlled the whole round. Well, I didn't get to see that and live, but on the replay, the, the way the fight hit the ground was a nice trip there by Velismus after Lindsay threw that inside leg kick. And if you're Garbrandt, obviously you got to find a way to, if it goes to the ground, find your way back up and keep the fight standing. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's where I think she's going to win this fight, or at least on top if she's going to go to the ground. She can't be on her back. So the whistle goes for seconds out. And round two is moments away from happening here. Both ladies touch gloves. Cheyenne goes to that low kick. Yeah, and trying to set, it, set those takedowns up as well, probably using the leg kicks. Just very tentative. Both women respect each other so well. And whoa, what a shot and throw from Garbat. Nice right hand on the exchange arrow as Cheyenne was coming up to by Garbrandt. You know, for fighting at 115, Lindsay's a very strong woman, Josh. Yeah, she's a powerhouse. Strong, muscular, you can see it. And showed it right there, just throwing Velismus to the, to the mat. Light on her feet are both women. Now trying to be first this time here is Garbat. Just, just so important right now, especially for how that round went for Lindsay to be first in that striking department, Josh. Yeah, she can't wait on Cheyenne, right? She's gotta make her move, make her miss, make her bite on feints, draw out reactions, and then make her pay for it. But Cheyenne's doing great, she moves really well. I like how she switches back and forth. Uh, she's hard to predict. And when you get somebody moving like that, you can't really set up a rhythm as well. Nice combo there. Very, very talented fighter is Cheyenne Velismus, as you, as you mentioned, Josh, just be able to switch stances like that. And you'd expect that for someone with the level of people that have been in her corner, uh, that she's talented in both orthodox and southpaw. Yeah, she's got the right people around. Oh, nice, oh, nice. Right uppercut by Lindsay there coming in. Tagged her on the chin. Cheyenne ate it well. 
Good Ooh, jab. Nice right hand over the top. And now Lindsay in her game, in her element right now with the, letting the hands go. But nice. Cheyenne, nice trip takedown. And once again, finds herself working from half guard. Cheyenne felt that punch there. Said, uh-uh, we're taking this to the ground. Nice inside leg trip by Cheyenne. And Lindsay's back on her back here. we got three minutes left. Yeah, a lot of time to, to work here for Cheyenne to, to get something going here. Couldn't find her way to get out of the, the tough, tight guard that Lindsay's working with. But as we said, a lot of time to work with for Velismus. And while Cheyenne right now continues to work, we'll definitely say hello to everyone back in Johannesburg, right, South Africa. They're definitely watching this to support their countrymen and teammate. Not sure Cheyenne what time Velismus. it is there, but. <laughs> Lindsay's got full guard back now. Good shots to the body by Velismus, trying to get those hands separated from, from Lindsay. Lindsay's corner is yelling out overhook. She wants that right overhook and get up on her left hip and put the, oh, somebody's bleeding now. I think it's from Cheyenne. She took one of those jabs right to the nose. But that is a lot of blood from, from that nice combo that we saw from Garbat. Yeah, Cheyenne definitely leaking right now from her nose. Again, we kind of find ourselves in the same spot as the first round. You know, Lindsay's doing a good job defensively, wrapping her up, taking no damage at all on the ground. Um, but, you know, Cheyenne's being positioning well. And she's on top. And this round is ticking down. Minute 40 left. Trying to get that separation right now. Here is Velispus. Good job by Garbat. She's tied up the arms, really making it tough for Cheyenne to pop up and really do anything. I think Lindsay looking at the, the ref trying to say, you know, let's get this back on the feet here. But Cheyenne's doing everything she can to keep this in the same spot. And with Cheyenne throwing those shots at the ribs, that's definitely going to keep this fight on the ground. Staying active is the name of the game right now, and that's exactly what Velispus will try to do. Try to sprawl out, working out in side control with Lindsay pinned up against the fence. Trying to sprawl her way out, use the cage to her advantage is Garbrat. Oh, hammer good hammer fist. fist from Cheyenne. Oh, and she lets her up. I'm surprised by that. A good combination there from Velismus. Oh, nice. oh, leaping left hook, but nice counter by Cheyenne. Yeah, Cheyenne was first that time when Lindsay went to throw her combination. Lindsay's corner saying we're down this round, let it go. Oh, nice takedown. Great Lindsay job. Kind of half sprawled there, but she able to turn the corner and get the takedown. Yeah, great job by Cheyenne there to change levels. And Josh, just explain how important is it to have a great ability to change levels as 10 seconds left here in the second? Yeah, you know, it, even if you don't get the takedown, now your opponent's thinking about that. And they might be a little bit more apprehensive on throwing. So it's, it's very, very effective even without getting the takedown. Well, two rounds in the books right now, Josh and the way we have it unofficially, it's definitely in favor of Cheyenne Velismus just using that takedown to her advantage. Yeah, and just, you know, takedowns and control time on the ground. Both have landed some good exchanges on the feet, but Cheyenne on the ground with her top position is winning this fight. Taking a look at the highlights here. Look at that. That is the uppercut right there that definitely busted up Cheyenne's nose. So Cheyenne said, I don't want any more of that stand up. Nice trip and gets the fight back to the ground. Nice inside leg trip there. And Cheyenne was working, almost had north-south position again, and loaded some nice hammer fists. And as well, when Cheyenne as well has had the opportunity to show her ground and pound, it's pretty nasty GNP. Yeah, yeah, it just, uh, Lindsay's been so good defensively on the ground, not letting her posture up and get any offense. So third and final round right now for this BTC Women's Strawweight Championship. If I'm Lindsay's corner, I'm saying we got to get this finish in this round. We got to put the pressure on her. You know, we're probably down two rounds here, and we got to get the finish. We want to win this fight. They got to keep that standing because the wrestling from Velisimus has been real impeccable so far. And Lindsay was building that momentum up with that nice uppercut mm -hmm. on the feet, but give credit where credit's due to Cheyenne Velisimus. So here we go, third and final round. 
faints with the, the head kick there, Josh. Nice jab by Lindsay. Cheyenne definitely has to respect the stand-up right now of Lindsay. Garbrat, oh, good combination there, but Lindsay was able to duck under those strikes from Cheyenne. Oh, nice uppercut. Oh, slip. Yeah, definitely just a slip there from Lindsay Garbrat. Seen a lot of that so far tonight, Josh. It happens, you know, especially when it gets hot in the arena. All the fights, all the sweat and the blood in the cage get slippery over time. I've been here before. This I remember this arena being very slippery. Well, it's definitely getting really warm up right now yeah. in here with, with the lights and all the people in here. Uh, it's definitely heating up, and so is this action here in the third round. Just trying to push forward is Garbrat, but nice leg kick. But those leg kicks have been brutal. Cheyenne seems to wait, waits for Lindsay to come in, throw her combination, and then fires back with you know multiple counter shots. But once again, a good uppercut, but right there. this time Cheyenne answers with a combination of her own. Again, nice leg kick. Ooh, oh, nice right hand connects by Lindsay. Oh, and once again, Lindsay gets to the wall. Good stuff this time from Garbat. Hips back. On that gets, high gets, single leg. And gets herself back up. Lindsay's, was, Lindsay's looking to use that underhook now to crank up. Oh, she's going back to the overhook. Good job fighting up against the wall. And this is where the wall actually helps, unless you get here or you get the double leg. Oh. Take it out. Great double leg takedown puts Garbrat right on the seat of her pants. She should be, Lindsay should be scooting her butt to that wall. Get that wall behind you so you can use it to wall walk up and back to your feet. When you're in the open mat like that, you got nothing to press against. Yeah, we just saw her use that to, to her advantage just moments ago, but has to do exactly that, especially with how good the wrestling has been from Velismus as well, and her ability to just keep Lindsay held down. Yeah, she's positionally very, very sound. She knows how to you know, ride the hips and keep her weight on top of her. Well, we get at least Lindsay, back to a, the wall walk position. She almost gave up her back there, but she heard her corner yell and she got her overhook back. Now she just needs to keep wall walking here. Use that overhook. Needs to get her left leg underneath her. And here it is. And there she gets back up. And that's just got to be so tough as well, Josh, with someone just grappling on you. You have to carry your weight and your opponent's weight back up, really much with one hand and one leg. Yeah, it's, it's exhausting. Oh, look at those foot stomps. The old school foot stomps. Those Marco Hujas, the king <laughs> of the streets days. Uh, Lindsay's going to look to use her left underhook there and try to turn her back off the wall and either break free or put Cheyenne on the wall. Those foot stomps there again, but and there it is. Lindsay's able to switch positions here. Now, we'll, thought she was looking for a takedown in her own right, so Cheyenne will just climb the ladder. Tried to take the back. Lindsay went for a takedown there, went for a shot in her, in her corner, yelled no. They want this fight on the feet. That's the right thing to do, and that's where it is right now, and stuffs the takedown, and good shots coming here from Lindsay, and they come right in front of us. But this time, Garbrandt's able to stuff and delivering some hammer fists in her own right to Cheyenne Velismus. Cheyenne, trying for that high crotch. Still good battle going up against the fence here. Trying to go for the, the single leg takedown is Velismus. She's got her head on the outside here. She's in a, oh, she's going for the double. Her head's in a bad position though. Lindsay needs to sprawl her hips back. She might go Lindsay, the... Lindsay may get a power bomb here. Power bomb. Oh. oh, nice trip takedown here by Garbrat right up against the fence. I thought we were gonna see the Batista power bomb <laughs> for a second there. I did as well. Just showing the amazing strength that Garbrat had, but Felismus saw where she was and realized gotta get this back to the ground, so nice trip. Hammer fists from Lindsay. Cheyenne's doing a good job now. She's triangling the, her legs now. Lindsay's legs. Oh, she breaks it loose. She knows it's 10 seconds. She's going for broke here. Tries to take the back, looking for an arm. They go for an arm. Lindsay's <laughs> Alvin. And the horn goes to end this one. Great matchup between Great these matchup. two ladies. They show the respect with the hug. 
It's unfortunate there's only three. I would love to see a five round fight with both these women because they, you know, the showcase, both skills was amazing. And I would just love to see more of that fight. Well, Cheyenne showed what she's made of. Great wrestler, great grappler. But as well, I think for Lindsay, especially taking this fight on just three weeks with no MMA training, really showed how, how well set she is in her takedown ability, her jiu-jitsu for sure, and as well as ability to stuff some takedowns. Yep, she did a good job defensively for sure. Just that's not enough to win you fights. You know what I mean? So Cheyenne with her wrestling and her dominant positions, I think got her to this decision. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just, just too much great wrestling from Velismus may be the deciding factor, as Velisma is definitely very confident in her performance. And we will throw it momentarily inside for that. And nice ovation from this crowd here in Burlington for Cheyenne Velisma, who made the trek, as we set out, from Johannesburg, South Africa, to get this title fight. It's now come to a conclusion. We just got to wait to see what the judges say and where this women's strawweight championship will go. Let's throw it inside the cage to make this one official with Mr. Throwdown. Burlington, let's have a big round of applause for both of the fighters in this cage. After three rounds of professional mixed martial arts, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Gula scores the contest 29 to 28 for Velismus. Judge Hannah scores the contest 29 28 for Velismus. And Judge Doyle scores the contest 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Cheyenne, the Warrior Princess. Well, a well-deserved championship win here. Interim women's strawweight champion, Cheyenne Willismas. I really can't wait to see this belt be unified against Rayanne. Master of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, won the belt back at BTC4, but now hopefully we get to see the fight that was supposed to be here tonight later on down the road. And what a win for Cheyenne. She, I mean, she was waiting since January for a title fight. And now she got one here in Burlington, June the 1st. Six months later, she's rewarded with the BTC Championship. Let's throw it to Josh Hill. And new BTC Strawweight Champion. You just, you just took out Lindsey Garvin in a tough three-round decision. How do you feel about Well, there you heard it from Cheyenne. She definitely is expecting and wants that fight with Rayanne. Amanda, November, 
at BTC 8 in Niagara Falls, Ontario. And that should be a one heck of a matchup, especially from what we just saw from Cheyenne Velismus against a woman that's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu.